Welcome to Wolverton Iron Trunk Viaduct. Recording this on video because it's uh, better than TikTok, which is very brief at one minute. Here we go, little round door. Signpost to say where we are. The number of long distance footpaths that go through here. We have the information board, which you can freeze frame and read. And this is the viaduct itself. It's quite some way down, but that is also the river, Great River Ooze. It exits at Kings Lynn. Uh, and this is all used for gravel extraction, all of that uh, flat land. Um, you might be able to see down there, <coughs> the footpath is closed because erosion, um, it's made it quite dangerous. On the other side, come through. Popular route with runners. So as I was saying on the other side, there is no handrail. Um, because pedestrians obviously don't usually go on that side. But if you're on a boat and you're on the far side on that side and you fall off, then yeah, it's not good. Originally, to get from one side of the river to the other, there were a series of locks that came down there, back up. That was obviously quite inefficient in terms of water use. Um, there used to be just about to see it, that was one of them. That was where water was drawn from the river and then came out of a pipe just there to replenish the canal. And these structures that we can see down here are doing much the same job but in a modern, more efficient manner. So the canal is still sealing water from the Great River Ouse and the Great River Ouse carries on towards Buckingham. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to go down these um, steps and I'll show you the horse tunnel or the pony tunnel, which is how people got from one side of the canal to the other. Still used today. We're going to bang my head again. I've been through it several times so far. I used to live in Wolverton and as a, a single parent raising toddler kids um, on state benefits it was always something to try and find somewhere interesting and cheap, preferably free and preferably close by to take the kids to, particularly on a weekend. And this was one of our favourite places to come to. Great fun running up and down these steps, running across the viaduct. But more importantly, going through the tunnel, and if you're a toddler, screaming your head off so you can hear the echoes. Great fun. So from this vantage point we can see just how high above the river the viaduct is. It's quite some way. And here's the tunnel. I'm going to have to crouch. Because this is only about five foot eight and I'm six foot. So you'd need a well tempered pony to come through here. I'm not even sure that you could bring one through, but uh, the assumption is you could. There we go. Also, great fun splashing in the puddles. So this is where the locks were before the viaduct was built. And what we're going to do is just go and have a look at this brick structure here which holds an information board recording the history of the various attempts that there have been to cross the river. Here we are just trying Come back a bit so you can read it. There we go. 
I love a bit of incidental history as I'm going around the canals. Okay, thanks for your time.